Hi, my name is Rishabh Rajan and this is Predator Explored. In this course, we're going to look at how to use this powerhouse synth from Rob Papin. Now, I'm not going to cover synthesis fundamentals and I will assume you know what an oscillator, filter or an ADSR envelope is. If you're not too familiar with synthesis terminology and want to learn more about that, please feel free to check out some of the other courses before starting this one. There are a whole bunch of really good courses on synthesis here at Mac Pro Video and Ask Video. The ones by Richard Leinhardt would be a great place to start. Okay, let's have a quick look at how the different sections in the synth are laid out. This top section here is the oscillator section. There are three oscillators here. Immediately next to it is the filter section. There are actually two filters here. Then next is the filter LFO. And below that is the main amp section. This upper area covers the main sound generation part of Predator. The lower section is the place for modulation and some global parameters. This is the pitch mod LFO section. And this is the pitch pen section. These would be kind of like global controls. Below that is the main modulation section. You have two envelopes, two LFOs, and a modulation router section. Next is the effects section. Here you can process the sound generated from the upper section with effects like reverb, chorus, distortion, and a really cool vocoder, which we look at in detail later on. At the bottom here is a modulation section dedicated to the effects. So if you want to modulate any of the parameters of the effects, you can set them up here. Over here we have some more global parameters with the play mode section. And finally, below that is the preset section. Unlike other synths, this section is quite detailed with preset morphing capabilities, which we'll get right into in the next tutorial. Now before we do that, I just want to get you familiar with the interface. If you mouse over any dials, you will see the exact parameter value over here. Of course, if you change the parameters, it will show up here as well. So you should keep an eye here whenever you make changes. You can right click on a dial and there will be options for setting to default, max, minimum, etc. You can even assign a MIDI controller to a dial from here. Just select Latch MIDI and turn the knob on your MIDI controller and it's assigned. Now in terms of the colors of the dials, they are not random. All the black dials correspond to the main sound parameters like the oscillators, filters, effects, mix, pan controls, etc. The silver dials are all amount controls for modulation. So whenever you see a silver dial, you know it will control the amount of a modulation, like the FM ring mod amount here. The red dials are all parameters of the modulators themselves, so envelopes and LFOs will all have these red dials. Okay, in the next tutorial, we'll have some fun with the preset section.